All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 97. All right. So arrays have a length property that returns the number of items in the array. We may want to add new values to the weapons array in the future, okay? Uh, we're gonna change our if condition to check if current weapon is less than the length of the weapons array, okay? Uh, an example of checking the length of an array, my array, would look like this, my array.length, okay. So yeah, the length property, we're gonna be using this a ton, a lot. Like every time we do for loops, pretty much we're gonna be using the length property. Uh, when, we're, when we iterate through, <laughs> when we iterate through, uh, what are these called? Arrays, yeah, you know what that means? No, you don't. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're gonna use this a lot, but for right now, what we're doing is we're gonna check to see if this current weapon is less than uh, weapons.length, all right? So let's come over here and do uh, less than weapons dot length, all right? And that'll work, but let's come down here and actually do a console.log on weapons dot length. So console.log weapons dot length, all right? Uh, let's open up the console and we see it says four right here. Uh, and where are we at? Where's weapons? Weapons, weapons, right here. So one, two, three, four. There's four elements in weapons. So when we do dot length, it uh, just counts the number of elements inside of an array, right? It doesn't work. It doesn't do the same thing for like, uh, what are these called? For objects, we got to do something else for that, but we'll probably go. <coughs> oh, sorry. We'll probably go into that later. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's probably going to work. Uh, let's get rid of this and let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 98 and we'll see you next time.